Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Auntie Grace, and I'm glad you're joining us this morning. Now, if I ask you to tell me one thing that you are most excited about, what would it be? What would it be? Most excited. Maybe you have just reached the next level on your video game. Or maybe you found a new items or weapons on Minecraft. Or maybe you would tell me that you just hit your first home run in a baseball game. Or maybe you have just performed a new dance routine with your dance troupe. Or maybe you are excited about your summer vacation trip to Japan. Whatever it is, it seems like whatever you are most excited about, you just can't stop telling people about it, right? What do you think the Apostle Paul was super excited about? What do you think? Paul was most excited about telling others about Jesus and seeing them come to faith and accept Jesus as their savior. God has given Paul these special eyes to see the amazing power of the gospel. And he wanted everyone to know about this great gift of new life from Jesus. So let's turn to Acts chapter 18 to see what's happened during Paul's third missionary journey. The Holy Spirit urged Paul to visit the churches he has planted during his first and second missionary trip. He wanted to go and encourage the believers in these different cities to continue on in their faith. He wanted them to remember what is true about Jesus and the life God's call us to live. When Paul arrived in the city of Ephesus, he met with 12 men who believed in God, but they only knew about John the Baptist. They didn't know about Jesus or the Holy Spirit. So Paul told them about Jesus. Those 12 men believed and were baptized right away. Paul also went into the synagogues and spent three months teaching and talking about the kingdom of God. Then he spent two years discussing God's word with those who were interested. God was working through Paul, doing amazing miracles. People would carry cloths that has touched Paul to people who were sick, and those people would be healed. When this happened, even more people believe in Jesus. Unfortunately, some people in Ephesus did not like what Paul was doing. They did not like that Paul was teaching that there is only one true God because those people used to worship many, many gods. So they gathered together and started to shout and cause trouble for Paul. One night, Paul met with a group of people to eat the Lord's Supper together. He talked to the group until midnight. As Paul spoke, a young man named Eutychus was sitting in the window. He listened to Paul talking and become very sleepy. When he fell asleep, he fell out the window, three stories down to the ground. Eutychus was dead, but Paul went to his side and put his arms around him, and Eutychus came back to life again. Paul continued to teach until the morning, then the believers took Eutychus home, and they were greatly comforted. Other than that, Paul met with many Jesus followers. He continued to encourage them, and then he said goodbye and continue on with his journey towards Jerusalem. He decided not to stop, but he asked the people, the leaders of the church to meet him in a nearby city. Paul said to them, I'm obeying the Holy Spirit and I'm going to sail to Jerusalem. I do not know what would happen to me there, but I know that trouble and jail wait for me. But Paul said, I do not care about my own life. The most important thing is that I finish the work Jesus gave me to do. I wanted to tell people the good news of God's grace. Paul and the church leaders prayed together and they cried because they knew they might never see Paul again. Then they went with him to the ship to say goodbye. As Paul traveled on his third missionary journey, he used every opportunity to tell people the good news about Jesus and to help the churches. Paul was dedicated to Jesus who called him to do the work of sharing the gospel. Paul planted many churches, but he did not just set up a church and leave. 
and never to be heard from again. Paul deeply cared about the people who became Christians in the city he visited. He wanted to help people build a solid foundation in their faith. And Paul often wrote letters to those churches, encouraging them to continue on their, in their faith journey. We have many of Paul's letters as New Testament books. Paul was so passionate and excited about seeing others come to faith and experiencing the freedom found only in Jesus that he was willing to spend his whole entire life teaching and encouraging the churches he planted. We too can be passionate about God because God is passionate about us. God loves us more than we can ever imagine. He loves us so much that even though we sinned and turned our backs on him, he did not leave us alone and abandon us. God is patient and merciful and has offered us a way to know and love him. What a great God we serve. Let's pray. The Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We are grateful for these stories of Paul and his demonstration of a passionate heart for you. We want to experience this same kind of excitement and enthusiasm for telling others about Jesus. Please give us strength and courage to complete the task you have given us. Help us live in a way that honor your great name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.